that's awesome. <laughs> so, quick little aura test. That's a good one. So, comment under my videos if you guys have the ability to see auras. If you don't, I'm going to show you. Uh, and tell me what aura am I reflecting? <coughs> <coughs> Not projecting. Don't look at my projection. Look at your reflection. So, in order to see auras, as this camera is picking up on it really well, right? What's the outline of here? The blue, my natural indigo cover. And you just, you just look past, kind of past the person. Kind of just fade, let your allow your vision to just fade out. Just tell yourself, you want to see is coming. Or that person's aura. And over time, it'll get stronger that you're able to see this. So, yeah, comment under my videos. Tell me what you guys see. What color do you guys see around me? Um, what am I projecting? Or, I mean, not what am I projecting? What am, what am I for reflecting? <laughs> you guys know when I, when I smoke, my, my words aren't... Uh, my linguistics are off, so. We switch to YouTube. We're not getting very many videos, uh, reviews on YouTube. So if anybody's got a good uh, algorithm on how to be a successful YouTuber, let me know. Um, because I've got some information that I'm gonna be dropping on this page after I get out the basics that is, like I said, nobody's gonna have this anywhere. <laughs> A certain level where it's just it's going to be the only place you can get this particular information so the other thing about auras is uh the aura is your spiritual expression of your clothing like like it's like your it's like your your spiritual clothes I guess to say like that it often, our subconscious reflects that into this reality. So oftentimes, really, the, the, uh, uh, a psychic trick that I learned was most of the time people are wearing their aura as a shirt, what they're feeling that day. So, somebody might pick out a blue and might be like, ooh, I, I feel very throat chakra -y. Um, feel very expressive. Feel very uh, aquatic. Uh, for me, it's the same thing when I have a wardrobe, but I went through a lot of changes recently, so I don't have my full wardrobe that I used to have. <laughs> but we're working on that. Uh, so, yeah, when I did actually have like a decent amount of, of different multiple colors of chakra shirts or whatever, I would wear different ones for that specific day that were expressing, you know, all right, this is the energy I'm harnessing from this particular chakra into this chakra. Uh, also, uh, uh, another trick I learned, like a little quick one was, uh, you can put, uh, I don't know if they have organic or, I don't know, I just use whatever, uh, dye, like, not like dye, uh, Food color. There we go. So I guess food color is fine. Uh, food coloring. Um, so say you wanted to take a bath, right? But you wanted to charge that bath up. This is a real good one. Say you got some like crystals. All right. Take some. Ooh, this is good. This is good. This is good. You can take like some quartz crystals, right? A couple of them. Put them in your bathtub. Create like a little bit of a grid. That way you can sit inside that grid um, while you soak and you cleanse yourself and you absorb that, right? Put whatever color dye or, or food coloring in there. Um, you know, get you some herbs and, and all that stuff. You know, all that good stuff, oils and whatnot that you want to put in there, you want to bathe in. And, uh, yeah, and just sit there and relax. That's That would be good, bro. Like, that'd be crazy crystal chakra bath <laughs> crystal chakra baths
Because uh, some of the bathtubs that I've seen in certain places, yes, in other realms, there's bathtubs. <laughs> beings do take showers and take, take care of themselves. Uh, these these usually are uh, beings of the physical kind of nature. So, uh, yeah, they would actually take baths kind of like this. But their, their entire bathtub, this, uh, this specific species' entire bathtub for like crystal. <laughs> Everything there is crystal dimension. But everything is crystal. You can take a bath in a crystal and stuff. And usually the bath would be some sort of water. Or, you guys have seen it in movies. The healing fucking baths that they have. Um, those are some good, good, good techniques. Uh, crystal water. Crystal elixirs. So say, say you know, you want to uh, calm your anxiety down. And uh, also open up your psychic and intuitive side. So you take it like a, a um, amethyst crystal, charge it in the sun, or you can charge it inside the water in the sun. It really doesn't really matter. I mean, it's all going to kind of, you know, it's all your intuitive methods. And um, then you would, uh, you know, charge it in the sun. Then you drink it. Make sure the water. If you if you charge the crystal first in the uh, in the uh, in the sun and not just the water or the, or the crystal cup or whatever like that. If you got crystal cups or glass or whatever, as long as it can, you know, reflect and refract light or you know all that stuff like that. Um, then yeah, you can you can definitely do that. Then you drink it, and it will give you an energy boost like no other. Ooh, especially with al al alkaline water, just just make sure it's not, you know. Especially if it's alkaline water. Oh yeah. <laughs> the water's got to be kind of a little warm. Cold water shocks your energy centers. Your signature it shocks your system, especially if you're trying to do something like that. So, just a few tips. Crystal baths. I would love to hear somebody try that one. Tell me how that works. I've seen it, but I have not had the ability to try that. crystal bath bombs. I've seen those at some of these metaphysical stores or some shit like that. But, yeah. Also, that's a great place to astral project. It's in the tub. Just lay there. Out of your body. <laughs> Go on. Dream world. You get some blue calcite and put that in there in your, in there with some... Because the quartz is going to amplify or whatever intent that you're putting in there. But if you want to set a certain tone or a certain resonance in the water and for whatever you're trying to achieve such as you know interdimensional travel the sit, sit in some water sure. I think um, yeah crystal charged water yeah I do it well put everything in the sun I am a sun person I love the sun so I put everything in the sun. I love the nighttime. I love the darkness too. I love being in the sun. You guys notice I don't have the thing behind me today. So, uh, yeah, I charge everything in the sun. Amulets, my bracelets, these right here. These all get charged in the sun daily. Everything gets charged in the sun. <laughs> Technically, that's the source. That's the source right here. Sun. Source of all light, the soul of our solar system. So, ooh, I can't wait to go into how the sun is a portal, access and hyper dimensions, parallel realities. Oh man, I got a lot of stuff going on. A lot of ideas in my brain. A lot of stuff that I've been I've been holding on to for a while. Since I got the opportunity to speak of it, that'd be awesome. Oh yeah, we did open a church. Well, it's a test run. It's not the full church, you feel me? But we'll see how it goes because I'm not going to uh, just waste 
put information in the air and nobody received it, like, you know, because it's something else that's gonna receive it. So I won't give out these keys to these stuff like that, but uh, give out keys all day, but try to get some people to YouTube. Yeah, like I said earlier, YouTube algorithm. Pretty sure I can develop with myself. <coughs> but, you know. <coughs> so, yeah. <coughs> Alright, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get in on this reptilian brain. Reptilian brain. Everybody talks about this, but don't know how it works or the in fact details of it. But it's going to probably take the reptile the reptilian that gave that particular aspect of himself to a human to come and tell you that. <laughs> it's going to take a reptilian or what they call a reptilian. You guys call them reptilians here. Other dimensions, I mean, the extraterrestrial reptilians that you have aren't even the original like strand of, of what I call them. So, um, they're clones. All these fucking aliens are just clones of dead shit that existed long ago and reanimated and shit like that um but yeah it would take a reptilian to come and tell you about the reptilian brain about all the parts of the reptilian brain the chakra systems in the reptilian brain how we got a reptilian brain uh but that's that's going to be a full segment for just reptilian stuff not guys it's going to be straight not guys just all Naga serpent energy, all that good stuff. That's going to be later on, like when I feel like dropping that. When I feel people are are cool or good enough or watching enough for me to drop personal information related to reptilians, because it is secretive stuff that that uh, that comes with that. Um, yeah. So yeah, the reptilian brain. Your brain's triune. You got three parts. Oh, I think like three or four parts of your brain high, so I'm not using my intellectual side. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's gonna take a reptile to come tell you all that, that information. That's why everybody's like, oh shit. There's a few people that talk about the third or fourth five. I'm not saying I originated this shit, but I'm just saying I was sitting here meditating and I felt this energy signature in the back of my head just light up and. I was already taught before when I was in another dimension with some with some relatives and a very high distant dimension. Don't want to say exactly where, but these ancient ancient primordial beings were showing me how to use the force. So they were like, "You have to have this feeling in your mind and this and this and this and this pressure that's going to come in the back of your head. That is your your fourth eye." That's how you see. That's how you do certain other stuff that I'm not going to tell you about. <laughs> so, like I said, there's levels to this shit, and I'm working at some level that is just uh, that is took in lifetimes, eons and eons, and in, in many different tasks and, and things to get to get there. Because as you higher you go up, you're going to need certain particular facets. It's like it's like the government. Think of the universe as it is in a sense a, a hierarchy, whether you like to believe that or not, or if you do the all Eastern, you know, Buddha air kind of concepts. I like for people to have something to actually hold on to. I mean so um that guru stuff. So yeah, uh Yeah, so yeah, oh, the forest of ancient beings I was talking about, yeah, so these ancient, you know, reptilian type soul beings were teaching me how to use the forest, and there's a feeling in my hand, and, and that's when it just, boom, images just flashed, started flooding and flooding and flooding and flooding in like lifetimes, like I had access, like, you know, and it's crazy because if you guys think about it, right? Let me turn this shit on. Because I'm, I'm feeling this. The sun is giving me raw right now. It's giving me radiation. Raw radiation. Um, 
in the movie The Matrix. Here's here's my last tip because I was supposed to be off like ten minutes ago or five minutes ago. I was supposed to only do like a five minute video of me just hitting the tone bowls or whatever. But because I want you guys to kind of understand this when it goes to uh, I might incorporate it even in the video uh, when I do the four or five. That one's gonna probably might have to be an hour long, guys. That might have to be an hour long. I don't feel think I want to break that down in segments. I think I want to give y'all a whole shebang as what I could. Uh, in the movie The Matrix, right? Where did they unplug that fucking thing that was stuck in the... Hmm? The fourth eye. <laughs> so... That was the simulation into The Matrix. That's how they got in. <laughs> And that had to do with my whole experience of what I mean about the sarcophagus and here and all this other stuff that I be weird stuff that I be talking about. So yeah, just ponder on that while I go make this these this information for you. <laughs> in the fucking matrix. We're in the matrix. How the fuck did they, they get out? And how did they get back in? This is the key to what I'm doing. <laughs> Of what my my what is how I exist? <laughs> I plug in and out of this bitch. <laughs> Not saying I don't have earthly responsibilities, but when I unplug, I unplug. Like when I go to sleep, I go home. <laughs> I go back to my other body, which is there, and my other vehicle, which is there. So for all you people who have these questions about these concepts i have multiple bodies if you realize you got one car then shit i can go buy a whole bunch of other cars and drive by you know it's tuesday i want to go drive a lamborghini um that's what bodies were made for, for energy containers and once you essentially understand that energy can be transferred from container 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 to container then you can understand the fact that me Ia, inky rock Kapata, or whatever you guys have had this perceived notion of what that deity is um, based on your reflections and your expectations of someone else. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, once you understand that, then you can understand multi density, multi dimensions. You can understand that you exist simultaneously, that when you go in your dreams, that there's another body that you're accessing. Except for when I, I do the, this, I'm actually not in my body. I actually, you know. But, um. That's when I so choose. I um, haven't been home lately, but. Because I've been trying to get this information out. But yeah, flashes, images, tachyons, genetic memory, all this stuff is coming, man. Um. I'm holding back a lot. And usually it's, it's, it's because I don't want my message to get lost. I don't want anything to get lost. So I'm holding back for specific dates, times, everything is synchronistic event, everything programmed to reprogram this matrix. So yeah, guys, that's about it. Just remember that how do you exit the matrix was at the back of your head. So all you people that were making fun of me or talking that shit, whatever, don't really care. When I was like, it was a reason. <laughs> so, love you guys. All encompassing light. All encompassing light. Tell me what you guys saw as far as uh, auras and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was pretty awesome. So, y'all ready to exit this matrix? Because I know I got the key to unplugging the matrix cord out the fucking back of your head now. <laughs> If you guys want to get technical, I got the keys. I got. I don't know how to unplug the cord. I'm Morpheus. What do you? What more do you want? <laughs> I, I'm Yoda. I got the Force. I can teach you to be a Jedi. What do you, what do you want? <laughs> what path do you wish to ascend by? There's more than one way to ascend, but at certain levels, there's only one way to ascend. So, I mean, love you guys. Bye. <laughs>